Ladies and gentlemen, this video is not going to be very much fun at all. This is our Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4. It is on 4.2. I have neglected to put 4.3 on it because if you put 4.3 on it, you get a brand new shiny bootloader that introduces Knox. And once you install this new update, you can never go back. If you try to go back, you will hard break your phone and you'll have to buy a whole new phone because since you bricked it by rooting it and trying to um, downgrade to something that you updated, uh, that's your fault. You break your phone, you're going to have to pay the price. So uh, we're not going to accept this OTA. We are not going to do that. That would be very, very bad. And it's for someone that wants to have root, that would just be, that would be insane. So here we are. We're on 4.2.2 and we have MF9 everything. So nothing is MJA. This has never been a victim of Samsung's <laughs> MJA update. So uh, let's get started on all of this. We do have root access, or at least, yes, we do. So we can go ahead and update our binary, and we can... I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to this part because of the fact that you do not need to install Twerp Recovery. There is a different recovery you need to install, and it's not installed via Goo Manager. So just ignore this part. Uh, let's see if there's a newer build. This doesn't even... Goo Manager doesn't even like to download. It's so freaking bad yeah there's gonna be a new app that replaces goo manager that actually works this one doesn't work anyways um reboot recovery yes um i should have some kind of recovery on there i don't know what version it is but i should have something on there okay so actually no i root i rooted using cf auto root i forgot on um, MF9, they introduced that stupid thing where, like it said, your phone's been modified, uh, an app is gaining unauthorized access. Well, Chainfire, being the amazing developer he is, came up with a way to do, to like root it without that message popping up. And it doesn't install custom recovery, so it's absolutely beautiful. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put custom recovery on this thing right now. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't actually install twerp recovery because yeah uh first step is this is by mudavo so huge huge shout out to him he's a pretty like helpful and amazing guy in the android community so huge shout out to this guy make sure you go down here and you click the little thanks button on his post i'm not signed in so i cannot press it um so you know yeah it is what it is but please give us due to thanks he really deserves it so you're gonna need to uh click on this and then you're gonna need to hit download that is going to be our uh recovery that we're gonna use for this process we're not actually going to use twerp so yeah let's hopefully this yeah okay good good i was gonna say we don't need another hosting site to not work on us turn off your s4 wait for a full power down connect usb cable go to odin uh using odin 307 all right so i need to download odin 307 all right so on my video on rooting the s4 we're going to go down to the description and we're going to hit show more and i'm going to have this link in here too so don't sweat it do not sweat it all right, so here's here's all of the versions of, uh, well, most of the versions. And I'm using 7-Zip. It's an amazing free tool. And I like it better than WinRAR or WinRare or whatever. So here's 307. We're going to take this. We're going to drag it to the desktop. And then we're going to go to our downloads. And we're going to go to Phil's Touch Recovery. We're going to press Control X. We're going to put everything in this Odin folder right here uh, just to make it easier on us. Turn off your S4, wait for it to full power down, boot into download mode, connect to Odin. Using Odin, flash the recovery um, in PDA mode with auto reboot unchecked. When it says reset, 
hold the power button down, and as soon as the device turns off, hold volume up to boot into recovery. All right, so let's do that. And, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the battery out, put it back in, put that stuff back on there, and then it says, I always forget this, so this is important, um, boot in download mode by holding uh, power and volume down. Okay, so, whenever it pops up here, we're gonna press volume up. There we go, now we're in download mode. Now let's go to the computer. All right, so on the computer, we are going to open up Odin here, which is in that folder that we placed on our desktop. Right click and choose run as administrator. If you get a little pop-up, just press accept. Now we need to uncheck auto reboot, like they said. In PDA, we're gonna load up that Phil's Touch recovery and we're gonna hit open. And then we're gonna take our USB cable here and we're gonna plug it into the bottom of our phone. Now, if you don't see COM and then a number, you're having driver issues. And we're waiting for this to install. All right, so we have COM and a number, so we should be good to go there. If you have any issues at all in my video right here, and I'll link to it, I'll also link to it in the description below. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Um, <laughs> backup links to the drivers. That, that link right there, OPN3EX, that will start an instant download of the latest 15270 uh, drivers. If you're watching this video and there's a newer version of the drivers, I will do my very best to keep those links updated. So if it says 1529 instead of 27, just download it. It's no big deal. So we are going to go back to this thread, make sure everything's good, close out this video. Um, Install the ROM, wait for it to recovery, auto reboot. When it says reset, hold the power button down. And as soon as the device turns off, hold volume up. Okay, so we're gonna hit start. And while it's doing this, all right, so it says reset. We're gonna hold the power button down. And then as soon as something happens, we're going to hold volume up. And that's going to get us into that new recovery that we just flashed. And then let go whenever you see that it booted. You can close that out and you don't need it anymore. All right, so now we have this. Is it touch screen? Yes, it is touch screen. Cool. If you're coming from a 4.3 ROM, go to backup and restore and select misc and android settings we are we were on 4.2 so we do not need to do that we need to download the mja 4.3 rom from here so we're going to choose the uh, uh, deodex version and then android file host is amazing you wait for it to count down and then whenever it does you can hit download and it's a super super fast download All right, so show all downloads. And you'll see that it's downloading at a decent speed. Not the best, but that's because we're not using a download manager. So we've got that downloading right now. Um, it says to also download the KT kernel, kernel and Wi-Fi fix. So we're going to go here, and we're going to download this right here. And we're going to hit save. And then we are going to download... Um, the Wi-Fi fix from this uh, 0404NY, or that's an O or whatever, so click that. And then on there, you'll also hit save file. So we're downloading that too, back out of this post. And then it says, download the MJA hotspot. Hotspot? Hotspot. <laughs> we are downloading the Deodext version. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to ch uh, choose the, you know what? The thread says to do the, the Odext. Let's do the Odext. You right click, you choose download, and then you hit save file. And then on here, we'll download this one as well. Save file. And we're going to go back to the ROM page right here. And we're going to choose the Odext, ver Odext version. So uh, stock rooted right here. Uh, it'll be J this one right here, test 2. Remember that? Because it's... A weird name test two I don't know 
whatever. Download that. Save. All right, so we should about have everything. Put the zips on your SD card. So we're going to need a total of one for the ROM. We're going to need uh, the Wi-Fi fix in the kernel. So that's three right there. And then we're going to need the hotspot fit mod fix. That's four zips that we're going to have on our SD card. All right, I'm back. I had to take care of some business. You know, drop the kids off at the pool. Anyways... Let me make something clear real quick before we start this. You do not need both of these. You only need this one right here unless you want the Deodex version. You flash one or the other. Basically, Deodex is for people that want to theme their phone and etc. And Odex is more of a stock, like it puts a dot Odex file and on everything and it's just just flash the Odex because that's what the OP says to do. And yeah. So what I want you to do is on your laptop or your computer or whatever create a new folder call it s4 mja now what you name it really doesn't matter you just need something to know where everything's at so in here we're going to need to take the kt the kernel the wi-fi fix the um hotspot mod for uh odex right here and then the uh test 2 so that's four zips that we're going to take we're going to press control X. We're going to go over to our S4 MJA and we're going to paste those. So this was the deodext and this was the deodext. So um, we're going to take our phone and we are going to um, put them on the SD card. So let's see if we can mount. Okay, that was the wrong one. Mount USB storage. There we go. Sweet. There's the SD card. I thought for sure I was gonna have to use this little guy right here. You just take a little SD card and it comes out of the little thing. You put it in there and then you plug it inside of your computer. <laughs> this little thing's really, really cool. Anyways, so I guess we can delete this stuff that was meant for the S3. Just delete that so we don't get confused. Go to that S4 MJA folder and I want you to hit Control A, so all four files, Control C, Go over here and hit Control V, and we're gonna paste them and move them to the uh, phone's uh, external SD card. And then we need to let this finish. I can already tell you that if you would have, uh, if you did take those files and put it on here, it would have been a whole lot faster. Well, it seems to be moving at a decent speed now. All right, so that took a while. I definitely, definitely recommend pre-downloading those files sticking it in a card reader and then using like the card reader to transfer the files to the sd card because oh my goodness that took a while um it is currently 9 38 so if you're one of those people that goes how long did this process take how long should my phone be doing this right now it's 9 38 a.m for me so just keep track of the time that's all all right so we need to hit unmount and that'll take us back to the home screen it says to put them on the SD card one, boot into Phil's recovery, choose um, clean, uh, go back. Where's clean? Okay, so what you're gonna do is from the home screen, hit wipe data factor reset, choose clean to install a new ROM, and then press yes. And then that's just probably taking a second. Okay, so you had to hit this little arrow right here to get it to do it properly. So, just keep that in mind. Oh, there's another thing right here. Download the Nox um, script remover right here. Truly clean. Clean, sorry. Excuse the file name, sorry about that. Uh, five seconds, four seconds. It says, press any key to continue. All right, so we're gonna download this. And then we're going to go to our downloads right here and we're going to do truly clean, cut that. And then go here to S4 MJA, paste it. And then we're going to uh, go back to mount. And we're going to mount USB storage. And then we're going to um, take the truly clean thing, 
copy it over to our phone, and then hit unmount. Go back, and now we're at the home screen. So, um, <laughs> sorry about this. This is the first time I told you this is going to be rough. Um, hopefully you are watching a video before following along. Not that we made any major mistakes or anything, just there's five files. You're going to need the ROM, which is the big 1.4 gig one. You're going to need the kernel, which is almost 10 megabytes. You're going to need the hotspot mod, which is almost 3 megabytes. And then you're going to need the Wi-Fi fix, which is 2.5 megabytes. And then you're going to need the truly clean um, Nox remover tool, which is 942 kilobytes. So you're going to need those files right there. And then when you go back over here, it says to install the ROM first. So install zip. Choose zip from SD card one. And then we're going to flash the uh, JFTLESPRMJA test. Zip. Choose yes. And then you. this is a one gig file, so it's going to take a little while to flash. All right, so the ROM is done installing. We also need to go back and choose choose it from SD card one. It says to flash the KT kernel, which is right here. And then yes, that shouldn't take very long at all. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna choose um, install zip, choose SD card one. Then it says to flash the Wi-Fi fix right here. Yes. And then we need to reboot the phone. And then let it, uh, it says to let it set for about five minutes. And then go back, install the MJA hotspot, hotspot, and then download uh, or install the Nox remover script. All right, phone's booting up. Everything seems to be working at the moment. All right, so that took a minute. It took quite a while. The screen's really, really dark at the moment. So just uh, don't worry about that. Um, with the Wi-Fi here, we're going to connect to my um, 5 gigahertz network. And I'm going to type in my password. And then I'm going to hit connect. And we'll see. Yep, it says it connected. So next. Um, skip. No. Not now. Uh, next. Next, next, uh, and skip, um, I don't know, I don't care, next, ne finish. Alright, now I can turn the brightness up and make it easier to see. So, we're going to go ahead and go to our settings here, and then we're going to go down to about device. As you can see, we're on Android 4.3. We do have the baseband of MF9, and we have the build number of MJA. Now, what you could do is, for the modem update, you can see right there that it says, um, by unknown force, you can just click on that, and then wait for it to count down, download it, and then it says you need to unzip it and grab the tar out of it. So download, save, very quick download, and then whenever it's done, we're going to click on it, and then there's the uh, tar. We're going to take this, and we're going to drag it into that Odin folder, and now when we go to the Odin folder, there's the modem only, MJA. So now we're going to go ahead and boot this thing into recovery. Uh, first off, I go to view type, alphabetical grid, and now all my apps are in uh, there. So we have super user, so or super su, which is the same thing. Um, Reauthentication, disable that. So we're going to go ahead and choose restart. Press OK. And then we're going to let this thing reboot into uh, recovery by holding volume up while it's rebooting. And then let go once you see recovery booting on the top left of your, the screen. Now from here we're going to choose install zip again. Nope. 
my bad. Install zip. Uh, you can choose SD card one again, and then we're going to do the hotspot hotspot thing. Press yes. Now we're going to be able to use Tether on our Galaxy S4, um, and it'll work just like you're paying for it, but you're not. It's it's completely optional if you want to do that. You don't have if you feel it's wrong, don't do it. It's that simple. So then we're also going to down or flash the truly clean thing right here. And then yes, and then you can press, if it doesn't recognize the touch, you can press enter or you can touch it again and it should work. There you go, we're done with that. Now we're gonna choose reboot system and then it's asking us, do we wanna fix root? I guess, sure, why not? All right, we're gonna let it boot up and then we're gonna flash the modem. All right, when I did that, it said Android is upgrading, so just, you know, let it do its thing. All right, so this post right here says to go into Odin, uncheck auto reboot and F reset time. Then you need to boot into recovery, choose power off from recovery, pull the battery, and then turn it on. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so we're going to hit the power button, choose restart. Press OK, and then hold volume down. If your device is fully powered down, all you have to do is hold volume down and power while it's off, and then it'll start up into download mode. Press volume up, and now we're good to go. You can see that we're still on the old bootloader, but we have 4.3. We're gonna open up the old Odin. We're gonna right click, choose run as administrator. We're gonna choose uncheck F reset time and auto reboot, choose PDA. Oh, my bad. Uh, choose phone right there. Choose phone. And then the modem only tar, press okay. So then we're gonna hit start. Since it says that auto reboot and F reset time are not you know, checked on there. All right, so we have a pass. We are going to hold the power button down. As soon as it turns off, once again, we're gonna hold volume up. Instead of down, download is download, up is recovery. So we're gonna press hold volume up to get into recovery. Let go. And then from here, we're going to choose power options Choose power off, and I guess fix root, whatever. Says it's shutting down, and now the phone's off. We can unplug it. Now, for one last measure, some say you can do this without pulling the battery, but as a good last measure, we're gonna take the battery out, and about five, four, three, two, one, put the battery back in, and then we're just gonna power it on. And see what happens. All right, so menu, settings. This is the final. Did this work? Are we good? Are we good? My baseband says MF9. So let me flash that again and see if it works. All right, I thought I'd clarify something. I was reading the instructions and it says confusion from the instructions above. You need to be fully powered off when you do this. So we just power down instead of rebooting. And so now we're gonna hold volume down and power. And then we're gonna press volume up and I'm going to flash this again. And when it gets to the phone, I will record again. All right, so just like before, I went to Odin, I unchecked auto reboot, unchecked F reset time, chose phone, loaded up the modem, hit start, um, powered the phone down by holding the power button and while it, as soon as it shut down, I immediately held volume up, let go of it when it said recovery booting, got to this screen with the power options, now I'm on power off, press enter, um, I, fix root, whatever, fine. And now that it's powered off, we're going to unplug it, going to, I don't know why it said Samsung for a second there, so unplug it, 
pull the battery, turn it on. And we're going to go do a bow phone and see if we had the new uh, radio, baseband, whatever you want to call it. Moment of truth, menu, settings, more, about, sweet. We have MJA baseband, which is the radio, which you use to make phone calls and everything. And then we have the MJA build. So we are good to go. We do not have knocks. We still have the 4.2 bootloader, but everything else, the ROM, the radio, um, everything is 4.3 except the bootloader. So we do not have knocks at all. We can install custom recovery, which we currently have right now. And there's absolutely no reason to replace that recovery with anything else at the moment. It works. It's touchscreen. Use it. Anyways, so um, Android version. We have 4.3 Jelly Bean. If you're on 4.2, freaking follow along with this video. You'll have everything 4.3 but your bootloader, and you'll be good to go. You can kiss Knox goodbye. You can say, hell no, I will not have an updated bootloader, which makes my phone worse. I will not be subject to Samsung. Samsung is doing the same exact thing HTC did by updating the bootloader and preventing you from getting us off, preventing you from flashing kernels in recovery and having to use um, like uh, Torp Recovery introduced some method that flashed the recovery and then the ROM or the kernel and then the ROM or you had to use Fastboot or you had to use Joey Crim's Flash Image GUI app. HTC is actually letting you unlock your phone and allowing you to have access to everything. And Samsung, on the other hand, it's like, oh, we're going to go HTC's old route and we're going to make it towards once you update, you can't go back. You're screwed. You're stuck with Knox. You can't get rid of it if you want to unroot your phone. It's going to permanently and for the rest of the phone's life say that you rooted it. Not in this situation. As of right now, we can flash 4.2. We can have the MF9 bootloader. We can have the MF9 baseband. And we can have the MF9 ROM. We can have everything MF9. And we can still go back at this point if we have to. Our phone will not nag and say that there's an update available because it is currently on the update. It just doesn't know the bootloader wasn't updated, which is absolutely beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give the video a like by clicking the thumbs up button below. It's a small favor, but trust me, it goes a long way. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button and check out my other videos. Like I recently unboxed the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. My PSN name is www.joshdew if you want to play with me. Uh, my gamer tag. I'll leave it in the description or in the comments or something because that's changed since, yeah, Xbox Live enforcement team sucks. <laughs> I'll have my links to my Twitter, my Instagram where I'm at 24-7. Shout out to my Instagram followers. Um, I, ah, Instagram is freaking awesome. I'm posting videos and pictures a lot. I'm also on Vine. I have a gaming channel where I post game commentaries on like Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Battlefield. I do videos on like how to do like certain things on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. I also have a second channel where I use the front facing camera for my um, Note 3 or my um, Nexus 5 and I post them from my phone to my second channel. So links to everything is in the description below. Please click where it says show more. You'll expand it and you'll get to see um, more than just the first three you know lines of the description again if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe this is what would josh do and i am out